Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a review on the Real Techniques Brush Cleansing Palette. So, the reason I actually purchased this, I've never used anything like this before. The only way that I normally clean my brushes is just by putting some shampoo, normally used baby shampoo, onto my hand and swirling the brush onto it, rinsing it off and then drying it. That's always how I've done um, cleaning my brushes. So, the reason I got it, you're probably all going to vomit over your laptops, your phones, whatever it is you're using to watch this video. It's because for my whole year in Australia, I did not clean my makeup brushes once. I know it was really bad. So I cleaned them before I went. And then, as I say, the whole year I was out there, I didn't, didn't clean them at all. So then I came home and was obviously like, these need to be cleaned now. I need to do this. And I didn't feel that just rubbing around on my hand was really going to cut the must doing it. So I saw this when I was shopping at Christmas, doing my Christmas shopping. I saw this in Superdrug. And thought oh, is it another gimmick is it another thing that's not going to work or will it work but is it worth getting it will it do exactly the same job of just rubbing it onto my hand i know the sigma had a cleaning glove and i think other companies have got cleaning gloves and cleaning apparatus to help you etc but i saw this and thought i'll give it a go so i think it was half price i think it was like 12 pounds something £12.50 or I can't remember the exact price so it comes in obviously the packaging and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide of how to use it and I think there's also a video that I saw um there I'm sure I saw or read somewhere there's a video of how to use oh yeah online makeup store for better brush care so there is a video I'm not watching the video I literally just went for it basically and it also came with two sachets of their brush cleansing gel and this is 7.39 mil it's very precise so I used one of these and I cleaned all my brushes so this is what it looks like so I was quite surprised this is actually silicone so you can see that it actually bends. I thought this was going to be like plastic. I don't know why. I just assumed that it would be plastic. But it's not. It's actually silicone. You can obviously bend it. It's got a hand bit at the back. And a slide channel. Which I think is actually really handy. Because it then it stays on your hand. And you can obviously move your hand to keep the water in the palette. So you're not holding it just like this. So I think having the hand strap on it is really, really good. So inside it's got these little knobbly bits and it says on here that these little ones are for small brushes, these ones are for medium brushes and then the big ones here are for large brushes. Now I didn't really take notice of that when I was washing them, I basically just swirled my brushes around all of them, didn't take any notice of large, small, medium sized brushes, I just thought I'm just going to go for it. So what I did is I rinsed my brushes under the tap first, put this into here, like not all of it, I just like squashed some of it out into this, put a little bit of water in and then just basically swirled my brushes into it. And these knobbly bits are actually really good because it really gets into the brushes and I'm not careful with my brushes. I know some people are but I'm really not careful. I'm not really careful with anything, to be honest. So I was really brushing, like rubbing my brushes onto it. I was really, really going for it. I wanted to get all the dirt out. They'd not been washing over a year. I needed to get this done. So I was really, really rubbing the brushes. And you could see everything was coming out. So it looked a bit gross, to be honest. I will, I will be honest here that it did look gross. But I really felt like this did the job. And I feel that being able to bend it you can keep more water in it. When I used to do it with my hands, I used to, I think I used to use so much water, but you're able to keep the water in it and just keep swirling and swirling, then obviously just rinsing under the sink. So I actually really like this and it's easy to keep clean as well. Just, I just literally, once I finished cleaning my brushes, I put a little bit of soap on this, rubbed it around and then rinsed it under the sink and it was all clean. Dries really quickly, 
so I'm actually like really impressed with this it does say it cleans brushes 55% better which obviously depends on what you're using before you use this if you're just using your hand I would say that this does clean a lot better and it's got the step by step on how to do it and obviously it does have the video tutorial for it which is that I haven't watched so I um, don't know what it would show you and you can also buy this separately I'm sure I saw it in Superdrug for separate like separately to buy but I can't remember I'm sure I did but to be honest I probably wouldn't buy this I don't think this was anything to do with how they cleaned I don't know but I would probably just still use my baby shampoo from the pound shop for them so I would actually highly recommend this and if you're someone like me that doesn't clean your makeup brushes that often I know they should be cleaned after every use etc etc but I just really don't have that commitment to doing it so for someone who doesn't wash their makeup brushes that often and really wants to whenever they do wash them to give it a nice really deep clean I would highly recommend this if you have used this let me know in the comments box and let me know what you thought about it so thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye